The wall is significant because this is what's going to be happening more and more in the next 50, 100 years is that there are going to be parts of the world that are uninhabitable, whether it's because they're underwater or because of wars Damn. and stuff. Yeah. And Syria... That is the other scary gonna shit. To, is like- we're going to need to take millions of people and move them on the planet, right? And in Western Europe, in the United States, there are all these Trump-style nativist, chest-pounding, right, right, right. like, ooga-booga fucking, like, liberal-ass... Or, sorry, uh like conservative like xenophobic ass xenophobic ass yeah. like like maniac groups popping up and <clears throat> it's going to become more and more common the fact i think the only way to really combat it personally is Just i the- think socialism i think like actually having a a, a viable alternative um we that, have to, or that we can fuck up- their, or we fuck their women or or we take the hot <laughs> yeah no chicks. really the only answer is colonialism we have to go into the Middle East, kill all those people, rape all their women, <laughs> make them comport to our ideological yeah. values, and then let them duke it out with the you know the same kind of partisan politics that we've had for you, the last uh, two hundred years or so. You're seeing walls sprouting up not only here but in a lot of other places. Israel, for instance, there's a wall with the West Bank. You know, Israel's a fascist uh, ethnocracy, and you know they do fine. They got Hooters there. The U.S. could be like Israel. They have a booming tech industry. No. They have cafes, <laughs> yeah, and they true. commit genocide every day. So I don't understand why that's <laughs> such a bad place to be. <laughs> I agree, dude. Yeah, I think we're geez, on Louise, dude. Jeez, Adam just Louise. shook his yeah. head in agreement. Hey, you I get up in the morning, <laughs> have some hummus, and then a uh, kilich a uh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do like that's like German. That's more. German. I don't know how to do. It. No, they French. sound like okay. uh, the French people. That no, yeah. it's like uh, of course uh, we wake up and the, the it's Palestinians uh, are trying to kill us uh, every day. So uh, what we do is uh, we uh, we strap on the uh, military clothes <laughs> and the hot girls with the uh, big tits uh, put on. <laughs> they put on the military clothes and they put, take an M16. And do you don't understand how hot it is to do girl doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> While she has uh, M16 pointed at uh, terrorists <laughs> that are throwing that are throwing rocks at you, they are doing terrorism with rocks, with uh, just pebbles. Uh, I you. saw I saw a little boy. I uh, walk past the pebbles, so I picked him up and put him in my microwave. <laughs> Now he is with the hummus. We <laughs> ate him and drank his blood, <laughs> but it uh, was not uh, like Christian blood. No. Uh, not there are plenty. Delicious. There are plenty of. <laughs> there are plenty of very good folks. We like to have a little anti-Semitic fun on this podcast. <laughs> there are plenty of good people who live in Israel. In my family, too. Yeah, yeah, they're called Palestinians. <laughs> Folks. All right. <laughs> Your parents don't listen to podcasts. You can't just I steal called, land. I called my parents today. Yeah. I called them. We spoke for the first time since they found out about Comic-Con. Oh, yeah. What did yeah. they say? Yeah. They, I thought that they would be losing their minds because honestly, my parents were right. They were like, no one's taking Trump seriously. They were going nuts. Yeah. Right. And then they could start saying, I'm Trump and I, it's my fault, you know, like all this stuff. And I called complete calmness. They're so true. Really? Yeah. Because we operate like the time where we're most calm is crisis mode. Mm. Whenever th- when you say we, what do you mean? I, I'm talking. It's Jesus. Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. When, when the people in my family, particularly, like whenever times are good, we're just waiting for the next crisis. Yeah. But it, whenever there's a crisis, then we're like, oh, yeah. That's fine. the thing is like culturally, I feel like the Bush years were great, and that is an extension of the whole like, well, is it comedy going to be better? But I think, and I, th- I do think it has more to do with like post nine eleven America. Wait, you're a big like Limp Biscuit fan? What, yeah. what do you mean? Culturally? Actually, yeah, actually, yeah. If we're gonna fucking be honest about it, Limp Biscuit is rolling, baby, severely overrated, <laughs> and it became this like under or s- over uh, underrated. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, I meant underrated. But they fucking no, people. They became this like fun band to shit on because you know I guess no, they're, they, bad. they're no, they're not, dude. They're, they're bad. First of all, rap rock as a genre is dog shit. Yeah. But, but for them to yes. come out of that, I think no, Significant Other is a great album. This Nick is was really the, into the most hilarious trolling you've ever. Nick done was in your really life. into. I'm serious. Dude. I I can pull up Apple Music right now. I actually listened to Significant Other maybe You're five or six such times. Such a in the last fucking six asshole. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Nick went to Ozfest 2003 and saw uh, Corn, Corn, Corn yeah. KMFDM. 
uh, uh, Power Man 5000, yeah. uh, fucking <laughs> Afro Man was there. Yeah, just Vertical <laughs> Horizon. Pennywise. Do you remember that Pennywise. band? Pennywise. Yeah. No. Maybe that was Warped Tour. They were a Warped Tour band. Yeah. Uh, I went to HFS. Now, Rap Rock sucks. Rage, literally, Rage Against the Machine. Cottonmouth Kings. Oh, Cottonmouth Kings suck. They were, Kings suck, <laughs> they were dude, the absolute. Dude. What about worst POD? Life? They were like Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that uh, shit sucks. Lit. Yeah. It's lit. POD probably got paid fucking good off that one song that was on every movie trailer about yeah, what snowboarding was, what was that song? i feel so alone yeah, yeah. like every time like the, like yeah. just a dude's doing a no. flip on us that yeah. was like in every saw, single movie trailer. i saw a homemade music video of that song made by some kid that had like you know it was seen hair before his emo hair yeah, yeah i remember hair before yeah. hair. and he's like flipping his hair and he's wearing a leather jacket but he had spina bifida oh, so it was all these no. like black and white shots like zooming in and out of him but he's just propped up against a tree oh you know? jesus <laughs> and he's like you know singing along to I the feel so uh, yeah and it's like you're literally not your spine is your spine is leaking out of your bones <laughs> that's <laughs> song meant a lot to him. Uh, yeah, and then I could never find it again. I wanted to... Well, dude, uh, you, you know, know what's Laugh to, with him. You know what song... <laughs> I wanted to go find that video to laugh with that guy. You know what song from that era I thought was legit good? What song? Um, the fucking Spider-Man song with the lead singer Chad Nick, Kroger. Nickelback. Yeah. And they say the, that a hero yeah, save well, fuck us. Me. Well, We were laughing about all those Superman songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I can't stand yeah, yeah. to fly. If you no, just I'm suck my dick. I'm fucking Superman, but I'm fucking still call me Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Superman. <laughs> yeah, you better fuck me. That, the first but one, the yeah. five for fighting yeah, was, one yeah. was like the 9-11 yeah. worker at yeah. Ground Zero theme song. They were like, we fucking love this song because like, I'm like a Superman here being in 9-11. <laughs> And saving people, so like, yeah, it really speaks to me. Sorry, I should have made fun of this. Yeah, why are you making fun of first of heroes, dude? dude? They're literally the only people we respect on this podcast is the 9 11 first responders, but only if they were men and they were from Staten Island. Yeah, of course. You know, if you're one of these fucking, you're one of these women that came from. You know, uh, Connecticut or whatever. Ooh, me too. I want to help too. It's like, yeah, second bitch, responders. We got men here. We got yeah. Staten Island fellas. Nothing gets me. Taking care of these towers. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets me quite as hot as a fucking 9 11 second responder. Yeah. Pieces of shit. Oh, uh, yeah. fuck. You went, there, you went there on D Day. You take those fucking medals off. Whoa, you're hot. You're hot, Nick. You're getting hot. Yeah, sorry. I get a little <laughs> heated. I'm, I was actually... Would you uh, still fuck me I was if actually, I was uh, straight and Superman? You know, I don't want to steal valor here, but uh, <laughs> I'm a Navy SEAL, and I was one of the 9-11 first. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange way to preface that statement. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I don't want to... That 100% wanna... true statement. <laughs> Wait, you were telling me that story about how you ran up to the top floor <laughs> while the towers were you smolder. scaled it actually, Dude, and, the tower, and then you the ran tower, back down. And you realized the, you forgot the, a kid no, upstairs. I'm, I'm telling right? you, I was up there and I was on floor 101. Whoa, that's right where the plane hit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was going to the, the uh, water fountain. I was sucking water up with my mouth. And I was blowing it all over the flames, <laughs> and I could feel the building start to collapse. So I reach up and I put my hand yeah, on yeah, the yeah. ceiling. On the oh, wow. and I held the building up, the the top part of the building. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and for it, like engineering until wise, yeah. everyone got out of the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, on floor one hundred and one. Uh, yeah, yeah. On floor you saved like five thousand people. I, six hundred and eighty-two million. 